Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, just one for fishing, please. Anything else? Have a good day. All right, thanks, you too. All right, y'all, it is an extremely toasty day here today. We are at this big old pier up here in northern Florida for the second time ever. Look at how freaking beautiful this area is. So we've got a sack with a bunch of stuff. We've got a bucket filled with some good old juicy live shrimp. We got two rods and uh, yeah, we got a dream. So last time we came out here, we didn't catch too much, but I've kind of learned a few things and we've studied up. I think today we have the potential to catch a bunch of stuff, but also uh, some stuff never caught before. So let's get out there and see what the heck we could do on this beautiful day. It's toasty though. Oh. Yeah, I'm not joking when I say it's toasty out here either, man. It is literally like 95 degrees, but it's not much better ways to spend it than out here fishing, right? On the beach. There's a golden retriever down there. It's having the time of its life. Just like, I love big piers like this. Especially in a place like this, you never know what you could possibly catch. And it looks like there's a little crowded up here, but it should be fun. How's it going? What's going on? This guy's got something right here. The heck is that? Oh, nice trout. Oh yeah. So I think we're not even gonna go too far down, man, to be honest. If there's oh that guy's got something on too right there. Yo. Kind of fish for lady, big lady. Oh, lady fish. All right, so we've seen a trout. That person had a ladyfish on. See what the heck we can do. So we have two different rods set up. See how lively these shrimp are. Well, they look pretty good. We got two dozen of these. Get one of these on there. This is the same rig. If you guys saw the last video, which if you even see that, I would highly recommend checking out the last video. We did some surf fishing, caught a giant, and we caught another nice freaking fish and we caught and cooked it. So this is the rig we're running. Just a little sinker slider to the swivel and then leader down to a little circle hook. And we're just going to plop this dude down there. Just like that. I'm not even gonna throw it too far away. We are fishing. Now that is the possibility of catching anything. Like uh, for example, that guy just had a ladyfish on, the other guy had a trout. Any of those could bite this, redfish, you just never freaking know. On a pier like this with a live shrimp, that's freaking live candy. That's why it's so much fun. All right, so that's out. And then on this rod, we kind of have a similar thing. We got all these shrimp, man. Might as well throw them, right? Let's see if anything big's chilling out. This is a big shrimp, dude. Throw this out right there. Oh, what did he just catch? So they're using, they're using like bobbers, like popping corks. This is getting like bit. Hello? We got, no dude, we had a fish there. Oh, we had a fish. I don't know what the heck that was. All right, well, being a professional, I just turned off my GoPro while I had a fish on or something on. Dude, it freaking was pulling, man. Of course, it was on the smaller rod, but um, it really yoinked me and then it broke off. The guy over there was pretty certain it was a shark, but it, it started, it was like, zzz, 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 zzz. But you guys could have seen that, but I literally thought the GoPro was off, so I tried to turn it on, but then I turned it off and it was on. It's just a professional. Don't worry, y'all didn't really miss much. That was cool, that was some excitement. Again, you never know what you can catch. Especially 
out on the pier like this. So this is one of the rigs we're gonna attempt to use here real quick. You guys have seen me use these before. This is just a sabiki rig. Basically we're gonna have a, what is this, two, three ounce weight at the very end, then a bunch of these tinier little hooks. All right, we're just gonna take the shrimp, cut them up in little pieces, and then put these on the tiny little hooks. Just like that. This is gonna be cool just to see what's down there. I think we should get some fish for sure, hopefully. Some of these fish have smaller mounts too. There are like actually some exotic fish around these areas that I've never caught before. So that'd be super cool. Maybe you can catch them, possibly chef for steak, cook weird fish. But also um, maybe we can catch some stuff for bait as well. And boom, all right. Sabiki full of shrimp going down. I think one of my targets that'd be so cool to catch that I've seen people catch here is a ribbon fish, man. If you guys don't know what they are, they look like aliens. It could be like little angel fish. Bunch of stuff. Now we wait. All right, let that sit there for a second. I want to, I don't think I have a shrimp. Oh my gosh. Of course, right when I put it down, right? I don't think I have a shrimp on that one right there. We got fish right here. We got something on here. What is that? Oh, dude. I got one. I was just talking about this. Oh, that's so weird. That is so weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude. Oh my gosh. All right, there it is. That is the ribbon fish. These are really good bait. A lot of people at the end of the pier are catching stuff on these things. Dude, hold on, let me get a freaking... All right, y'all. I was literally just talking about this. This is, can I touch these? Are they like cool to touch? That is a holographic looking ribbon fish. Look at the teeth. That is insane, dude. Holy crap. I've never heard of people actually eating these. Let me just check real quick to see if there's a limit on size. These things are just crazy holographic looking. Like it looks like silver, dude. That's just crazy skin. But one thing is that these things do not make it very well. So this thing's probably already croaked. This would be great bait, but I think we're gonna take this home, catch and cook it. It's just, the skin is crazy. Yeah. I've never caught something like this before. Don't let those teeth just brush you. They'll cut and they have an anticoagulant. You'll bleed forever. Oh, really? Oh my God, look at those teeth, man. Freaking nuts, dude. <laughs> it's literally one cloud above and it just rains. It came out of nowhere. Freaking Florida. There's one cloud up here. Look at this. Blue, 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 one cloud and it's just coming down. I'm so hyped, dude. All right, let's see if we can get anything else. Cut up some more shrimp, put on the sabiq, send her back down. It's always a good feeling you get a new addition to the Pokedex, you know? Three hooks left on our sabiki. The one kind of fell off. I think that ribbon fish kind of did me a little dirty there. All right, let's just send this back down. Pretty sure I literally just dropped this like right like that. See if anything else will eat this real quick. I still gotta put up new shrimp, I think, on my other rod. I don't think there's anything even on that. All right, let's see real quick. By the way, people are like blasting music to my left. What are y'all's thoughts on music and peers and stuff? I don't know. Oh, oh my God. What the f Dude, something just freaking destroyed me. What the heck? Bent out my sabiki. Yeah, just like I thought. No shrimp on here. Dang, it's pouring. All right, so this is what has become of our sabiki. We have, I don't know if you can see that, two hooks remaining. I mean, it's not the most heavy line or hooks. It's not really meant to catch big fish. And I, I don't know if... I, well, one of those, we, that, it, it was something pretty decent size. 
Let's see here if anything else bites these two hooks. I do have another Sabiki and we have another rig I'm kind of curious about trying out. See if anything bites these hooks real quick. The shrimp's getting a little action too, but nothing's like committing, committing. Oh boy, I, know I was just talking about how hot it was and everything. So look at this. Blue skies, blue skies. But oh my gosh. I don't know if that was just here or if that's coming here. I don't really know. But uh, hopefully we don't get too wet. I don't really mind because, you know, it's just water. But the cameras and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So we actually switched rigs. That last Sabiki got completely obliterated. I had another bite and it just ripped the hook right off again. So... We've got a different rig. I'll show you after I bait this up super fast. One right there. Just these tiny little circle hooks and one right. Boom. There. Alright, so this is the rig. Basically, we just have that same little weight down here. And there is one little circle hook with a float. And then up here a little bit, there's another circle hook with a float. So, sinker will kind of be on the bottom and then these things will kind of float up. I'm just going to cast this right down here. And it has a little bit heavier leader, so. And hooks. <laughs> the Sabiki hooks, you can bend them so fast. I'm just going to toss that down to where we were getting bit by stuff. Do you want to use this to catch trout? I can show you if you want. All right, y'all. So one of you guys actually just came up and helped me out a ton. Look at this bobber. This is freaking, looks almost antique. This is huge. He tied the, the whole rig for me. Appreciate the help. There's so much stuff going on right now. People catching fish. So this is a little uh, bead. Goes up to a little bobber stop that he made. One ounce egg sinker, beads, swivel. And that goes down to a little hook. I'm just gonna throw some shrimp on here. People have been catching some fish, man. Oh yeah, give me this. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my god. Jeez. Whew. Dude, first cast. Oh my god. Holy crap, dude, that's crazy. It's all about the rig and what you're using and how you use it. All right, Ooh, second fish of the day. Old Jack. That's just a little one he was pulling like that. Yeah, man, that's just the cool thing about piers and just meeting people. So I was like, not really, you know, catching much of anything. And he actually watched the channel we were talking and he hooked me up with this rig and, whew, this is freaking sick, man. Let's see if anything else plays. These guys behind me are catching a bunch of trout actually. Oh my, it's crazy because this bobber is so big. It's cool to see that kind of just like, 
get sucked down under, you know? Come on. It'd be cool to catch a trout. that hello there we go that is so cool man this thing is working beautiful I mean, that's a thick one too look how pretty that fish is he's croaking I might honestly be a keeper I'm gonna throw him back Oh my gosh. If you guys want to see a trout catch and cook, we did one in the last video. Boom. Oh. Jumping. Jeez. Ladyfish. I oh, got one more shrimp. Hey man, appreciate it again. Wow. Look how pretty that water is. Guys, I'm not even joking. When we were just fishing over here, there was like a giant, it might have been like six, seven, eight foot hammerhead shark, I think it was, that was like right, like right here in the swimming area. And there's like a, uh, there's a lifeguard right there. I don't know if you even saw it. Like people were swimming like right over there. Crazy. Shout out to uh, Harrison. He's the one that hooked us up with the bobber. And that whole rig. I got to learn how to tie that. And that's just the best way of knowing stuff. You know, learning for people who know how to do it. I don't know everything, but I do know that we caught a weird fish and we we're going to go cook it up. At Chef First State, that's, this is the weirdest thing he's probably ever cooked. Hello? Hello? It's my wife. How are we going? All right, welcome back to the camper. Hello, buddy. Did you just go play at the park? Yeah, he was throwing out his, his B-A-L-L. -L. He was having a good time. It just started storming as we got back. That's just Florida for you, so you might hear some thunder. And, but today is just a special day, man. It's not every day that you eat a legit sea serpent slash sea monster. I don't even, like, what is that? What did it even look like? It looked like a snake mixed with the eel, mixed with, like, the head was just a crazy, like, Teeth, man. Let me show you what we kind of got on the menu here today. We have a couple pieces. Hello. Might not focus. All I did was we chopped off the very top, which was like the uh, spiny, spiky parts, and then we just kind of cut these into little steaks and I scored them. I don't know if y'all can kind of see that right there. We're going to cook this up a little bit differently, man. I felt like it was not going to be easy to fillet this fish just because of like the proportions of the. Like, look how, look how skinny that is. Before we start, let me know if y'all have ever tried this. Let me know if you would try it. It's funny because when we came back, Kelsey was out on the beach chilling and I was out fishing. And then when I came back, like we came to the camper, I whipped it out and she was like, the heck is that? Well, I whipped the fish out. Yeah, she was like, what? what is that? What are you doing? If you haven't tried this though, let me know what is like the weirdest. Did you hear that? It's a freaking storm, man. What's the weirdest like thing you've ever caught and cooked or just eaten even in general? That'd be kind of fun to read those comments. So let's get this thing started here. Right. Hopefully we don't get lightning struck and blown up. Zeus is freaking coming back to me, yo. He's like, yo, you stole my sea snake. That's how you get Zeus angry around here in Florida, man. Just put a little bit of oil in the pan. Just like that, let that heat up. And all we're gonna do, keep it super, super simple. Where is my salt? A little saltiness on there, you know what I'm saying? Flip those up and get some salt, and then we're gonna throw it in the pan. All right, we are good to go. I can't tell if that looks good or, you know. Hopefully, it tastes good. Three, four, 
five. Very interesting. I just like, this is one of those fish that I've had on my list for a long, 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 long time. And I was like, I don't know when I'm ever going to get a chance to catch one of these fish. Last time I was at the pier, I saw somebody had one. And I was like, dude, I would love to go and do a catch and cook because I am. And then, you know, it just, just happens, man. Never know what's going to happen when you get out there, especially on the pier. But that thing wanted the shrimp, let me tell you. Okay, so while these are cooking, I did some research, and apparently, like, I was like, does anybody actually eat these things? Apparently, it is very popular. It is actually, like, sought after cuisine in Japan, I believe, is what it said. So, it's pretty cool. It hasn't been, like, really brought to the American market's taste uh, yet, but maybe, I don't know, maybe this video will. It smells interesting. Are you catching a bug? Kelsey's vacuuming a bug. For some reason, ow. Turn that down a little bit. For some reason, we've had all these moths that have been coming in here, I guess at night, and then just flying around. And now they're in the vacuum. All right, this is almost done. If you've been following the channel, not only do I have like a Pokedex, now we put in entries for like different fish to be catched. Like it's kind of, it really is like Pokemon when you're fishing, like a bunch of different stuff in different areas. Not only did we cross that off of our list, but I also have a different one. We have so many catch and cook videos, catching different things and then cooking them up. And this is just another one crossed off the list. And you never know, man, could be the unexpected weird freaking fish that makes it to the very top. It could be. We're about to find out. All right, here we go. This is what our freshly caught ribbon fish slash sea monster slash sea snake. <laughs> yeah, this is this is it. So we uh, basically just did a little thing. Again, the bones is in, are in the middle. It's like a sea snake steak. Gordon Ramsay, you gotta get on this level, man. If you ain't, you ain't cooking the sea snake steaks, I don't know what you're doing. So we just put a little salt on, then we cooked it, and then at the end here, we just doused it up with a little Cajun seasoning. Now we're gonna go in and give this a shot. It is hot. Ow. I just wanna give you a shot of this like midsection here. That is white looking flaky meat. I don't know what I, I thought it was gonna be like translucent or something for some reason. This is the most appetizing clip for some reason, but y'all can see there it's like white and flaky. Let's give this thing a shot, man. Freshly caught, shout out to Zbiki, shout out to the shrimp soldiers who went down fighting today. Y'all see it right there? Freshly caught ribbon fish going in. That's not bad. Of course the Cajun good and all the spiciness. I, I do this kind of cooking though because I really want to taste the actual fish itself. I would catch a bunch of these. You may maybe make some big like tacos or something or just throw make a bunch of these steaks. Have like a big steak fry. White, flaky. It's like a lighter kind of, like you know how sometimes fish feels like heavier, like more meaty. This is more like a light, like flaky. This is one of those fish. I would catch and cook more of these, man. This might be actually underrated on my on my list. I need to make like a big freaking tier list of all the catch and cooks I've ever done. Let me know if you guys want to see that video, but yeah, I think this is kind of near the middle top-ish. The only thing is like the bones, right? But as long as you get the meat out of them, I mean, you can kind of see right there, sort of-ish maybe, like all those bones along the top. As long as you just pull that meat out and you don't really care about no bones, you got some nice meat right there, pop that sucker in. Sea snake! down and I know there's a bunch of different kinds of fish on that pier that are like weird kind of like this exotic and that are edible kind of ish as well kind of like this so I'm excited I want to get back out there let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this we ended up catching some other cool fish and uh yeah man again appreciate like it's so cool when people share their information and uh you know or, or bobbers that's like the cool tight-knit community thing about the pier as well you get to like talk to people everybody helps each other out ideally it's just fun man again let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it all I gotta say man so let's keep this rolling hold on hold on hold on thank you all for watching see you next video you wanna know just where